A day of remembrance at Craven Cottage for one of Fulham's most cherished sons. Former England captain Johnny Haynes passed away earlier in the week, age 71. He was regarded as one of the greatest players to have ever worn the Fulham jersey, and so much so that they nicknamed him the maestro around these parts. Haynes was a Fulham man through and through, and Craven Cottage mourns him this afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, if I can have your attention, please. We are going to be able to pay tribute to the greatest player in the history of Fulham Football Club, Johnny Haynes, who sadly passed away last Tuesday, age 71. Well, Liverpool's win over Anderlecht on Wednesday mean they are in a reasonably comfortable position in their Champions League group. It's now time for Rafa Benitez's team to knuckle down and improve their domestic form. Fulham, too, in need of a good performance. Chris Coleman's team have only taken two points from the last available 15. Diop turns around Alonso. And this is Boamorte. Collins John, he's up there on his own, but he's going to make the most of this. And now Malbron to provide some support and into the centre. Well, Ahmed Elrek is making his first Premiership start in the rest of his career. He's unlikely to get a chance as open as this. Malbron created it. Traore was more interested in covering the line. And Elrek's shot, ugly. Hosum, he's been really caught out here. He ran forward towards that ball. Malbronk has nipped in behind. It's got a fault for Klaas Jensen. Not enough angle for a shot. Maybe Collins John! And Fulham are in front. Three Premiership goals in three Premiership games for Collins John. It's come on the half-hour mark, and Hossamy is the man to blame. He allowed Malbronk inside of him there. Plenty of height available in the box for Liverpool, but it is a shooting position here, should Cissé desire. Just outside your picture, Reese is lurking as well, but it will be Cissé. And he claims the touch came off Klaus Jensen, that will be another quarter for Liverpool. Gibral Cissé has scored twice in his last three league games for Liverpool, again on Wednesday. Mm, Sissoka caught napping by Boa Morte. It's been an all-action display from Luis Boamorte in the first half. Playing in a more central midfield role than we're used to. Thank you very much. The Fulham fans may just be a little bit disappointed with the shot in the end. So another chance for Fulham before half-time. Goalkeeper comes, and this time Reina is happy to punch. Jose Reina has kept four clean sheets in the Premiership this season, but none in his last three games. You can make that four when you include this afternoon. Well, so far, it's all been about Collins John's goal coming on the half-hour mark. Slight suspicion of offside, but Fulham do have the lead. Chris Coleman will hope that this time round they can keep hold of it because Fulham have a bit of a tradition this season of giving away early leads. Half-time at Craven Cottage, it's Fulham 1, Liverpool 0. Gomez header, only as far as Alonso! And his passing hasn't been up to the usual scratch this afternoon, Xabi Alonso. So it'll be Klaus Jensen's delivery, and Hupia once again 
The staunch defender for Liverpool. He's won most of those balls that have been played in by Fulham in the second half. Klaus Jensen once more. Nicholas Jensen's ball for Malbrank. Collins John is there! Again, Hoopier, the defender, throwing his body in the way. Elric has done well. And a bit of a roar around Craven Cottage as they feel their team warming up here in the second half. And Boamalte once again is taken down. And once again it's a free kick to Fulham. Here's Luis Garcia. Cisse, better delivery. Cure. Morientes and Warner's first save. Well, that's a bit better service from Gibral Cisse. And Morient is always capable of just sticking out a leg and producing some sort of effort on goal. Fulham have only kept one clean sheet in the last eight Premiership matches. Here comes the corner. And it's Luis Garcia. And that stands as a big chance, you know. Just look at the space afforded. Luis Garcia here. Fulham had defenders on the line. But Garcia's made an impact since his introduction as a second half substitute. Diop, Malbronk, and Jensen. And the seniors made a clever run here. John, always oh, with an eye for goal. And Pepe Reina. Fortunate that Malbronk wasn't a step or two closer to that. As Liverpool look to break down the other end with Kuehl. Morientes is in there. Boca Negra with the important deflection. And they haven't got it away for Garcia! Excellent save by Tony Warner. And the old Liverpool apprentice showing the pros how it's done. It's been rolled to him short. And Cissé was in there. False got an important touch. Hoopia! Well, Sammy Hoopia did ever so well there to keep that shot on target. It came to him. Look, you can see the spin on the ball. He kept it low. And even the deflection didn't take Tony Warner's eye off the ball. Klaus Jensen. Once again, it's Hoopia. He's won so many of those headers. And Boamorte's uh, effort has gone astray, and Sissoko's pass for Cissé. He's been drifted a little bit wide, but just look at the acceleration! And eventually, it's parried away out for a corner, but Gibral Cissé showing he is quick as a wink. And Boamorte's last gasp lunge couldn't quite get there. Again it's Diop, he's been a monster back there for Fulham. And this is Boamorte, and Collins John is in an offside position, so he had to hold on to the ball. Now Malbrock. Oh, he's done ever so well. Steve Malbrock to Boamorte! It is two for Fulham! And in the week of memory for Johnny Hines, Fulham produce their most emphatic attacking performance of the season so far. scored twice against Liverpool here last season and he still ended up on the losing side surely that's not going to happen now what about that for a calm finish and all created by the industrious build-up play of Steve Malbron they came here to mourn Johnny Hines they came here to mourn Johnny Haynes they may well go away believing some of the old values are still intact at Craven College, it's all over, and Fulham have won in the Premiership for only the second time this season, and once again Liverpool failed to impress their good European form on the Premiership stage. Luis Boamorte got the second goal that really killed this game off, it's finished Fulham 2, Liverpool 0.